Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And today, we're gonna take a look at a game called Let's Go to Japan. Let's Go to Japan is a game published by AEG, designed by Josh Wood, plays one to five players in about 45 minutes, ages 10 plus, which is accurate because we have played this with a 10 year old. And in this game, what you are doing, I'm not even gonna read the theme because I know what it is. You are planning a six day trip to Japan, starting on Monday, going to Saturday or Sunday if you have an expansion, we'll talk about that later. And you're basically putting down things you wanna do on each of those days at either Toyo Toyota. Uh, Tokyo or Kyoto and then if you switch between places you got to have bus tickets so you're trying to make the best plan you can to move up these tokens on a track to score a pile of points that's it now if you want to see how that works you can click the link in the video description I'll play through a full game a two-player game but you're going to see my board and not well sorry I'll, there'll be some edits in it uh, if you don't want to check that out and you want to talk about the components well here we go <music> All right, so Katie backed this, and she got the deluxe all-in craziness. It came with some token bowls that are really nice, but I'm not going to show those off. But I'm going to show everything else off. So these are the player boards. This is the green one. All of them have different art on the back, which is fantastic. I'm only going to show you this one. And they look like this. They're really nice quality, easy to understand. The graphic design is fantastic. The layout is great. Love it. Okay, so those are really nice. Now let's look at the cards. There are two decks of cards. There are Tokyo and there are Kyoto. My only complaint is I think this game is a little bit bigger than it needs to be. The components are a little bit bigger. These could be regular sized cards, but you get to see more of the art this way. So the cards are going to be multi-use. There's going to be walks, which is the back. And there's going to be a bunch of different locations on the front. So this is Sia Kabuki Show. This is Ueno Park. There's, there's pronunciations. I'm going to butcher it. Stay at a really nice hotel. That's fantastic. I'm not even going to try to say that, but there you go. Shopping in Shibuya. There you go. Grab some street food. There's also cards that are brown that can be either Tokyo or Kyoto. Right? So there's some Tokyo cards. Here's some Kyoto cards. We have a Kyoto Railway Museum. Stay at um, Machia. Again, there's pronunciations. I'm sorry. Nanjinzi Temple, the Kyoto Imperial Palace, fantastic. Niho Castle, fantastic. Great art, tons of different places you can go. Not everything is different, but there are a ton of different places you can go to check out. So those are the cards. Now let's talk about everything else. So we have the deluxe components. I'm not actually sure what the non-deluxe components are because we don't have those. They didn't even come in our box. But these are deluxe wild tokens. They're just a nice wooden bit with all the five colors. Those are fantastic. Oh, one other thing I need to show you. All the bits come in this awesome player bag. One for every player. Everything that I'm gonna show you will fit in there. The cards go in these fantastic bags. Not necessary, but awesome. And the tokens go in this awesome token bag. Say tokens, so there you go. You don't have to have a bunch of plastic bags in there, which is great. Uh, there are research tokens, which are going to let you draw cards. They're really nice quality as well. They look like, a, I don't know what that is really, like a itinerary or something. Walk tokens to help you keep track of if you've flipped over a walk card, because that's going to be important. And one of the main tick things that you're going to want are tickets. Positive luxury tickets, negative tickets with the plebs. And then we have this cool little round marker here, little mask guy. The round tracker, which is you know basic just keeps track but it's nice nice cardboard and then we're going to have player bits so all the player bits are two types of tokens okay there are thinner tokens you can see here's this one you can see how the different size so this is going to be go on where you're going to be putting cards on each of the days to kind of mark it and then you're going to have score tokens which are nice wood which are going to have the same symbols but they're fatter okay and there's one of each of those for every day they're really nice quality. There is a marker for your happiness and sadness. And then 
if you have to go around the track, you have these cute little things. Happy, happy face, sad face, fantastic. Components are top notch. I wish you could actually see them up close because they're even better. Um, I have nothing but fantastic vibes for this. The scoring thing is a travel journal, which is fantastic. The rule book is easy to teach, uh, easy to read, easy to teach. I love everything about the components. So there you go. Again, deluxe version. I'm not sure what the non-deluxe version entails, but sorry. All right, so let's talk about everything about the game. Okay, so I played this game three times now, and it's freaking fantastic. That's where we're going to be. So we basically just did this event when Katie was planning to go to Japan. She just planned out a trip for seven days and some travel days. So this is kind of why she wanted the game. She knew she was going to go to what well, she didn't know she was going at the time, but she loves Japan. She thought a game about planning a trip to Japan was fun. Now that she's planned a trip, it makes the game cooler because she's been to some of these locations. She loves the card art. She loves the way the game plays. And as do I. I haven't gone to Japan, but I helped her plan. And I love the art. I love the locations. I've heard her talk about the locations, so I'm familiar with them. I love sushi. I love getting sushi in the game. I love eating the... Uh, let me find it. There's one thing that I really do love here. I think I played it somewhere. I love it so much. Oh, maybe I discarded it. But it's a, a fish-shaped snack or dessert. I love it so much, but it's in the game, and I am a big fan. Of course, I can't find it now when I want it, but... Yeah. Either way, I love that thing. It's really yummy. I've had one in, in IRL in, in in real life, and I love it. And the gameplay is just fun. It's basically a whole game of planning. You're spending basically the whole game planning this trip out. The gameplay is pretty simple. You're going to draw some cards and play some cards down. You're trying to make the decisions come in with what cards you're going to play where because that's what is important. You're trying to get symbols so you can get those bonuses, but maybe not. Maybe you'll get more points for uh, ignoring the bonuses. Um, you're trying not to travel all over the place, or maybe you are. Maybe you have a passport, which is an expansion that gives you a bunch of extra bus tokens, or train tickets, I keep calling them bus, train tokens, and you can just travel all over to your heart's content. Spend, go to Tokyo, Kyoto, and back to Tio Tokyo if you want. Do what you want, be it crazy. Tons of stuff explodes in the playing of the cards, and endless possibilities again my only real complaint is i think the game's too big everything could be a little bit smaller and i would be okay with that it would take up less room in the table but that's not really a complaint and i'm not going to complain about it but i would be okay if it was smaller so there we go we do have another expansion so i talked about the passport which is basically a special ability we also have a day trip which is going to add sunday to the game and it's going to add some cards where you're going to jaunt off for like a little day trip next to one of these cities. So maybe you want to go to Osaka while you're in Kyoto and you can get some extra points, give you some extra goals and all that stuff. So it just adds a little more variety to the game. It's already fantastic. So there you go. I'm going to give this a BGM except the seal. This is going to get an 8 out of 10 on BGG, which is a 4 out of 5 wrenches on our arbitrary wrench scale. It means absolutely nothing, but we like to give it the games that we enjoy. And that's what I'm going to do. So that is Let's Go to Japan from AEG. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always... Keep gaming.